Bones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin. But they still reveal things to us as they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table, the story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. Welcome back to Bone Thrower's Theater. My name is Jeff, and I'm playing Gavin Stroud. And this is Jeremy playing Akel. This is Aaron playing Kundar. This is Jaya playing Namel. Uh, and I'm Yosef playing Droopy Pex. I'm <laughs> Jaden, your gate master. All right, you make it down the path to the base camp. First thing I want from the scout, please roll survival. That would be Droopy. Oh yeah, I guess I said something. <laughs> I got a 16. You got a 16. You notice there are booted tracks around the base camp that do not match. Oh, we're already at the camp. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just kind of. That do not match Phoenix Site issue. Do I know what they are? Roll investigation. Roll investigation to identify the booties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you that, that booty? Uh, I only got a 13. It looks as you follow the tracks as the base camp looks to be ransacked. And those boot tracks are just unknown to you. Okay, well, I convey that to the rest of the team. I'm very open about what I see. Scientists, roll your investigation. I should be looking for Naquita. 18. 18, okay. You, under further investigation, have found that it looks to be Jaffa related. That... They seem to be walking in a formations, groups of three and four that would match the styles of Jaffa. Do I notice any uh, marks from weaponry on any tents, equipment in the area? No. It does okay. not appear that there was uh, any gunfire at any time. I convey Jaffa. We're here. Other this than- is the weirdness of the game. I'm Jaffa, and, but because I got a poor roll, I didn't realize that the foot tracks were Jaffa. Like, I'm just pointing out game stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Role playing in general. Yeah. These are not your standard issue Jaffa boots, which might be why you didn't under. Didn't, oh, didn't they got that them. new hotness. Yes, they got yes. that new hotness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I got that old. It's spec. Different, different system, Lord. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Arapophis. Arapophis. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see the spoofs. Yeah, I had the pumps. You, you pumped up your boots. <laughs> I guess Continue at this time, the, the Air, Air Anubis, actually. Air Anubis, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, hey, do we, is there a shelter in case it rains or whatever? So, most of the shelter is destroyed. I.e., your tents are ripped. There's, in meaning we couldn't, like, makeshift something or whatever with what's left? And you said most. Yeah. Correct. Perception to just a Gavin and Kundar. Guys. 20. Whoa, dude. Uh, 23. Okay. Yeah, so I Jeez. got a 24. You notice a full med kit and know that he still has burns that need to be treated. Yes. And that has what is needed to treat those burns. Hey, let's take care of your burns. Thank you. I would appreciate that very much. My burns are painful. Who's got medicine? You are treating yourself. Yep. All right. Uh, I mean, roll. Tell yourself it's going to pinch a little. <laughs> it's going to hurt. <laughs> I feel a little pressure. That's what I'm <laughs> 20. Perfect. I, I uh, you now under pressure. Uh, have applied uh, a salve and a bandage for <laughs> needs for the rest of the game. You don't need to take any da- or, or modifiers for your damage. Okay. Everyone I- roll a perception check. I was about to ask if I could scavenge for any cool stuff. A 10. 17. 17. 17. 19. 17s and 19s. You notice a symbol that has been molded in the mud at the center of the base camp to look like a wolf standing on top of a serpent. So you guys have a uh, history 
which actually is going to be an intelligence check. Okay. Roll intelligence. Oh, so we're not rolling 20, history. We're Twenty-two. Just... Oh well, yeah, his, oh, it's history, history is intelligence. Yeah. Nineteen. There's no history. Twenty-two. Nice. I'm liking my dice today. Now you weren't earlier. <laughs> no, in battle I was liking mine. <laughs> You remember from your history class at the Phoenix site, this is the symbol of Wawapet, who is subservient to Anubis. So this symbol that we're seeing is Wawapet's. Correct. Normally what you would see on a gold in the center yeah. of the forehead. Yeah. Right? Is it any relation to droopy pecs? <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> I still some lords. Oh, wait, no, let me look. Let me look. I I went and googled like system lords and just randomly picked one. Google. It's not it's not Wawa whatever. <laughs> Wawa, Wawa hoagie because those are delicious. <laughs> but let me look what I, <laughs> I, I wrote it down in a chat. It's the like, system lord of sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I chose Telgath. Yeah, Telgath. Yeah, that, that was actually in some episodes. Yes. Yeah, this is a this this is Wallapex symbol. I don't know what he's doing here. What they're doing here? Causing trouble. Do I know this <laughs> thing or whatever? Uh, yeah. So yes, you can roll history check intelligence. Oh, fudge! I'm so stupid. Not to know the name. Gee, many Jillikers. I got a five. Yeah, you don't remember anything. I'm an idiot. Your radio's crackled to life, and it's Dr. B asking for an update. It's been two hours? Yeah. Oh. Uh, the camp has been ransacked, and it was done by Jaffa. From Wawapek? From yeah. Wawapek. Okay. Uh, go ahead and return to the gate. We have secured the gate room and contained the leak. Uh, we will debrief you once you arrive. I mean, dinner first. <laughs> 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 Every time. Uh, we will pass the, uh, your information to General Lawyer, so get back as quickly as possible. Does anyone else feel like that was way too easy? I was like, we didn't do anything. Yeah. I'm a scout. Can I, like, scout the area to see if we're going to be ambushed or something? Oh. Sure. Uh, would that be yes? Answer? You are currently being ambushed. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I don't know how. Say that's horrible. where that was. That's a different response than Jordan. <laughs> Jaden was like, "Huh? Would they even figure out that information?" Jordan would be like, "Raise an eyebrow. That's a good idea." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, yeah. That's how that would happen. What am I rolling? Ah, uh, perception. Oh, okay. Eleven. You do not perceive that there is uh, an ambush. Well, some <laughs> you take a blaster. <laughs> <laughs> you do not perceive that there is an ambush. the hell out of that one. <laughs> uh, should We're we bring back here. the supplies that we brought with us? Unnecessary. Just return as quickly as possible. All right. Let's go. Yeah. I guess I should be in front because I'm the scout, right? Yes. Have you watched this show a lot? All right. The gate, <laughs> the, the gate closes. We're going to get ambushed at the, the gate. The wind starts to pick up. Oh, uh, uh, now we gotta walk in. Roll your nature. Yeah, that's that's wisdom again. I'm like it's today. intellect on mine. Is it no. wisdom on yours? It's and wisdom. it's a twenty-four yeah, for me. It's, wisdom. It's, it's intellect on my sheet. Seriously? It's nature? Yeah, it is. It's wisdom on mine. Yeah. It's wisdom different. on mine. It's a different stat. Wait. So I go ahead. from the side. Nature, dude. wisdom. Nature, intellect. Yep. It's a, that's what it says on her sheet. I got the same modifier for both, so it doesn't really matter. But that's okay. something we need to. Yeah. Yeah. Dress when next time I'm, we make characters. I got a 19. I got a 19. I natured that mother. So you got a 22. You I got, got a 27. Six. 24. And you got a 7. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you notice a dark pink cloud. Oh, gosh. Oh. Almost maroon. Oh, oh. gosh. Ooh. Maroon's okay. It's got to be pink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep pink. That's the worries. <laughs> uh, that cloud's got the runs. Uh, <laughs> <right now. laughs> It will encounter the gate shortly after you arrive. After, after arrive. okay, okay. After we arrive at the gate, not before we. Yeah, and then how many have to dial and get to dial it correctly? <laughs> no. Well, uh, so we hightail it. Yeah, we yeah. pick up the pace. Like, well, um, we got the ready. Where's Fred at? We, we left Fred. Yeah, yeah we're uh, leaving Fred. Would Fred slow Where's us Dickie? down if we brought him? Negligible. He can keep pace even if um, we run. Yes. Yeah, but All we were right. told not to worry about it. So, okay. Yes. All right, you have made it to the gate. Dial it up. Keep an eye out for 
Yes, I'm for keeping an eye out for the baddies. Okay. Intelligence. Eight. In your attempt to dial the gate, it lights up. The gate does not open, and the symbols turn off. I open up Engineer. the case. Engineer, yeah. Check it out. Yeah, I check not out my the, job. the crystals. <laughs> check out the crystals. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, no, I don't. I forget how to open up the panel. Hold. What is with these rolls? Because <laughs> it yeah. matters. What modifier are you using? Engineering. So you need to use your dexterity modifier as you are dealing with fine tools. Okay. That's even worse, so. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference when he rolls a one. Yeah. Oh, you rolled a one. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I failed you to open the one. panel. You broke your screwdriver. Okay. Oh, as long as you didn't break the DHD. <laughs> I couldn't get it open, so how could I break it? Dude, well, you broke your wrist. <laughs> I'm gonna try a second time. I was about to say, I'm a Jaffa. We play with, or we've used gates before. Can I do like a perception to see? Yeah. Is that, that an error is that code? No, well, no <laughs> you, you, need to, you need to dismantle it first. So Which is what I was trying to do. You'll still have the dexterity check. Your engineer sucks. If you want to do that, you can. Oh, oh I do. My dexterity is awesome. I want to yeah. try okay. Once you get it open, I can fix it. I got a 19. Okay. <laughs> well, he gets it open. You do open. He loosened it. <laughs> <laughs> you are able to open it. Science and engineering checks. Science. Ah, much nice. better. Much better. Not so much better. <laughs> <laughs> that one? That one. <laughs> so five total. 23. <laughs> okay. Johnny notices. <laughs> you have a no, brain no. fart, which turns into a real fart, and that's all you get. <laughs> what are these green clouds? <laughs> <laughs> They're toxic. They're toxic. The crystals. Uh, you have uh, you have determined that the power crystal is missing, and two modulation crystals have been swapped. Okay, well I swapped the two modulation crystals back. And uh, guys, we gotta find the power crystal. Dial it manually. Still need power. If you, he said you have to power the uh, intelligence check. Oh my gosh, intelligence. Eh, 15. You know, Fred works on a, a mini NACRA generator. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Left <laughs> at the camp. Because <laughs> oh. we were told it didn't matter. We didn't need it. Should All right. we go back and get it? Yes. yes. Um, uh, you will not some, make it back in yeah. We won't. Well, we need shelter. It's about, it's about the rain. There's more shelter there than there is here. Can you do a perception to see if there's shelter around the gate? Sure. That is a 17 for me. You do not notice any substantial shelter. So it's north to south and in weather patterns. And can't be south, south. south. So we'll be running ahead of the rain. If we can get to back to the base where there is some shelter. Uh, there were a tent or two you could try and hide out in. Yeah. Yes. Roll your intelligence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, basic intelligence? Be uh, I will allow you to do engineering. All right. That's even better. So that would be uh, nine. <laughs> Way better. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, it's too better. <laughs> I'm um, not used to doing cow starts running towards the camp. Okay. Yeah, you don't re- notice anything else that you can do. Okay. I think we gotta go. Yeah, yeah we, we gotta, gotta take it. cover. We gotta take cover before yeah. this before yeah. the start heading back to the camp. Huh. I stand inside the ring of the Stargate to protect myself now. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, and when they turn Stargate it on, they check where no. we are. <laughs> <laughs> Only half of them. <laughs> Smoking boots. All right, so you were caught uh, at the base camp. Uh, you do have some cover, but this is the strongest storm that they have seen, and the cover is actually, like, melting. Yeah. Mm. So you will still take some damage. Do we have steel tables to hide under? You are going to take... Four damage an hour to your hit points. Yes. So I have my survivalist class ability. So because I, I grew up, see, uh, you train to survive on any world, any buy and you gain resistance to damage from your environment, including non natural environment dangers like traps. Resistance. Does it, does it doesn't define what resistance is? No, it doesn't. Let me get, let me look up my class. I think I'm just going to say it's half damage. I will allow it. <laughs> Are we resting here? No. We're, We're hiding taking cover. Yeah. You're taking We're cover. burning to death. Or melting, whatever you want to call it. 
So I'll let you guys discuss what your game plan may, might be. Do we have an idea of how long this weather pattern moves? No, as in you weren't given a full briefing on it, and all he told you was to watch out for the pink stuff. Just getting everything, getting us and Fred under as much cover as possible. Yeah, I mean, you know, the tent shelter that we're in, what kind of equipment is in the room? Okay. Um, what did they leave behind? What you're in specifically seems to be the remnants of a mess hall. Okay. So that there are some large serving trays uh, that you can use for cover, some chairs. In the base kit, there's a uh, filtration and radiation mask. Would that help us take no. less damage? It's not aerosol. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like a fog. It's actually acidic rain. So I know, but <sighs> what, not, the trees are metal. Yes. All right. Uh, in base kit, there's also climate clothing. Yes. In this case, that would consist of a rain poncho. You can choose to adorn it. I adorn it. And I, I do so. I adorn yeah. it, and I note that I look damn good. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys will take half damage. So now you're half. at two damage per round. And I'm at one? And you were at per one. Per round or per hour? Per hour. Per hour. Sorry. Per round hour. <laughs> Sorry. Right, um, square hours, you take three. All right, well, first of all, anytime anybody goes anywhere, you hold the tray above your head. <laughs> All right, since you're looking around, I will allow an engineering check. Okay. Okay. 13. 13? Okay. Uh, you're still looking. While we're waiting here, we should get the uh, small NACODA generator out of Fred. So and I prep would... it to be ready to I'll take connect an... to Wait, the... Wait, can uh... we do so without it taking has the damage? If not, I'd rather leave it in there until the rain's over. Yeah. Yep. So you could contain it... Is there a welding torch on Fred? No, there is not. You have an engineering kit? Yeah. Okay. So I will allow you to weld. Uh, torch Because you have the NACWA generator, you can essentially arc weld the trays together if you want to create a structure yeah. for said NACWA kit. Yes. That's what I wish to do. Okay. Uh, roll your engineer. <laughs> Don't roll. 24. Okay. Good thing you switched my dice. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were successfully able to hook up the Fred, build your Nacquard box, and then take said Nacquard generator and, and put it in the box. And that's when it's over. <laughs> all right. In, that, in doing so, that has been one hour. You all take one damage. Two, uh, two damage. Two damage. Except for... All right. Your engineer is successfully able to jerry-rig something. Actually, that's good. Cool. That is a skill. Yeah, that is, yeah, it is a skill. What's next? Choosing just to hunker down, or do you want to try attempt something else? Uh, I mean, we don't want to travel in this stuff, do we? No, we don't want to travel in it. I wouldn't. I only take half half damage, so I wouldn't mind it. Is there any kind of Doppler or anything? Weather radar? No. All right. Anything that would be that substantial has been destroyed. Okay. Survival check. Fifteen. Not twenty. Bro! Oh, Twenty-two. Sixteen. Nice. Seven. Eight. The two smartest ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the fifth natural twenty you've gotten in a row, man. Mm. Well, not in a row, but like tonight. That's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. You do notice that an adjacent tent, there appears to be armor plating that does not seem to be taking hits or melting, melting in the acid rain. Build a thing. Umbrella. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your engineer. 18. Great. It's still good. It's still good. Another hour has passed. Another set of damage. Your radios come alive. Dr. B's on, on there. Why haven't you guys dialed back? What's going on? Well, the power some, crystal's missing. Somebody set us up the bomb. And it's raining. The Jaffa stole the power crystals, and it is currently acid storming. So we're at the base. Have you attempted to use the Nacro generator from Fred? We didn't have time to get to the base and then back to the DHD before the rain came. Our infirmary is ready, willing, and able to help you guys once you return if you attempt to dial the gate. Or if you choose to just hunker down, I will get a team together that will come rescue you and make repairs to the gate. Oh, is the gate taking damage? DHD. 
Oh, to repair the DHC. Gotcha. <laughs> this is uh, highly acidic. It's uh, melting through almost everything here. This seems to be a stronger storm than any that have previously been here. The tents themselves are dissolving in the rain. Noted. You guys do your best, and we will work on our way to send the team to you. Uh, we, we've noted an armor-plated something. What is it? We didn't get a chance to see it exactly. And, what and an adjacent right, tent. It's a jet We're seat. trying to reach it now and utilize it to get us back to the, the gate and fix the DHD. Okay. All right. I hope to either see you dialing in with your IDC or uh, I will reach with you back in two hours. All right. Sounds good. Out. So I made some umbrellas for us to get over to the armor plating. So we're not hunkering down. But we're going over to the armor plating that's not melting. Oh, okay. Now, uh, what do you choose to do with said armor plating? Well, what is how, yeah, the what, armor plating? What is it? Yeah, exactly. This so, so... Is it like body armor or is it like a... No, like... Car uh, cover or... Yeah, more think of like... Just big sheets of metal? Big sheets of metal. Blast shields that might be used as a blade of armor on a tank. Okay. Sort of They're just so, it's just sitting there. They haven't been installed anywhere yet. Correct. Can we make like a just a long thing that we can just like hold above us and head to the <laughs> gate? Yeah. How big is it? Yes. You you have uh, seven sheets that are three feet by six feet. What's your guys' strength? <laughs> Combined. <laughs> Invincible. But the strength of our friendship is so much better. I was always told that my strength lied in my humor. <laughs> yes, Jafar. <laughs> His nose ran. <laughs> uh, I have a strength of 12. 12. 15. 11. So yeah, Zero. you're all 10 or higher. You can lift. Okay. Each panel independently. Make a little manual tank. Right. Here, roll your engine. Oh, please don't screw this. It's up. gonna fail. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> Nine. <it's> funny. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. You are successful in your building, but your welds leave a lot left to be desired, and you still take one damage. So we're taking one less damage. Yes. So you're not taking any damage. You're taking half damage, so one damage every two hours instead of one damage every hour. Okay. And I put some wheels on the back of the generator so we can just drag it or hold this thing up. Okay. You guys are making your way back to the gate. Yes. yes. Yeah, making all With your apparatus, time. it yes. will take you an hour. Okay. Okay. So that's okay. another damage? That is another damage. How, how long did it take him to build the... Shh, shh. Ten minutes. Well, his welds were crap, so... <laughs> <It's> ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's good you didn't notice. Uh, my face is melting, so I was trying to do it quickly. <laughs> Sorry, I have questions. <laughs> All right, you, you have arrived back I'm at the gate. Commentary. Okay. Engineering check. To hook up Fred. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> when it matters, it's always, it's always going to fail. <laughs> Seven. Okay, other people can make an engineering Please, check. God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 20. Net 20. Okay. So, 22. The scientist is like, your wires are max cool. engineer, <laughs> hook it up right. You, uh, you hook up, and the chevron ring starts to oscillate a little bit as it gets enough power to loosen it. Uh, you're manually dialing the gate means you basically provide enough power to oh, I was unlock the ring. I was trying to put wire straight to the HD, but okay. Okay. It's a lot quicker. You got a nat 20? Yeah, on engineering. Okay, I'll allow it. Yes! Because <laughs> <laughs> that is the way it works. <laughs> yes, it is. So do we have to roll intelligence to actually remember the dial? No. You uh, you remember it, so can we just assume yeah. that you didn't forget? Uh, <laughs> go ahead and dial the gate. Come on, scientist. Yes. It opens. One, two, four, five, seven. Good job. We've watched so much Stargate that this is a no-brainer. <laughs> Maybe noobs would have been like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Swash. <laughs> all right. You all get your uh, safe to travel uh, alerts on your IDCs. Awesome. And we march our little armor thing to <laughs> <laughs> Dr. B comes um, over the radio. Uh, oh, quick thing. You, you guys got it fixed. Come on 
through. Right, so little little through. Through. I come on through. All right. The gate technician comes up, just like, you guys built the jankiest shelter. <laughs> but we're all naked at this point because all of our clothes melt off. Oh, oh boy. I'm hoping go. that if no, I don't like pothole, there's no potholes in your clothes. All right. That is the end of your mission. You g- end up getting back to a debriefing room after a long rest and a trip to the infirmary. You have all been restored to your full hit point counter. Yay! And in your debriefing, they ask you more about the symbol uh, that you found. I assume you mean yes. Yes. convey everything you remember. Right, right. And they say, we will take that under advisement and we will continue to look. I say, give us better touch. Was Jeff able to give back his gear without getting a third degree? Oh, Joffa, yes. had a Everyone is able to return their gear oh, yeah. <laughs> without an issue. Oh, that it's just acid ger- burned the smell off. Jawas there. Okay. Okay. Did you say Jawas? There were Jawas there. <laughs> ja- Jawa Jawas. <laughs> Jawa Jawas. Jawa Jawas. Jawa Jawas. Jawa Jawas. Jawa Jawas. <laughs> and on that note, thank you so much for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. Thank you for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. We are releasing this podcast under a Creative Commons attribution, non commercial, no derivatives, 3.0 unported license. That means you can share the podcast, but please do not modify it or try to gain financially from it. If you would like to visit our website, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater.com. If you would like to send us an email, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Our Twitter handle is bonethrowerstheater. You can also look us up on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, may the bones fall ever in your favor. This has been a Nerd Circle podcast production.